Today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts Direct Replacement 2-Pin Running Light Only Fender Lights for your 2020 or newer GMC Sierra truck. To get all the parts shown in this video, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. To install the 2-Pin Boost Auto Parts Fender Lights, the only tools you will need are a T15 and T20 socket and wrench, as well as a couple trim tools. On the front of the vehicle, you will need to remove this inner fender liner. There's T15 bolts that hold it on. You're going to begin by removing all of those. Remove the inner fender liner by starting at the front. Behind the fender there are two T20 bolts holding the fender light on. Go ahead and remove those. Carefully remove the fender light from the fender flare. Unplug the fender light by first releasing this red latch by pushing it up, then depress this little black tab and the light can be unplugged. Take your new light provided by Boost Auto Parts and plug it in using the factory connector. Once the connector is in, slide the red latch down to lock it into place. Place your new Boost Auto Parts fender light in a position. Replace the two T20 Torx that hold the fender light into place. Place the front fender liner back into place. Properly seat the fender liner into the rear mud flap. When installing the fender liner, make sure that it sits inside the lip of the fender flare. Reinstall all of the T15 bolts holding on the rear mud flap as well as the inner fender liner. After the front is complete, you'll move to the back and remove the three T15 bolts holding on this rear mud flap. Remove the two T15s at the back. Remove the rear mud flap. Release the trim clips holding on the fender flare just enough to access the light. In the event any of these trim clips are damaged, we are showing the part numbers here so you can order replacements. If you're careful and use trim tools, this should not be necessary. Unplug the rear fender light by first unlatching the red latch and then depressing the black tab and unplugging it. Remove the two T20 bolts holding the fender light into place. Once that's removed, carefully remove the fender light. Place your new 2-pin fender light provided by Boost Auto Parts into position. Plug the connector into the Boost Auto Parts light until it clicks. Then slide the red latch forward. Reinstall the two screws holding the fender light into place. Carefully clip the fender flare back into position. Reinstall the rear mud flap. Place the two T15s at the bottom. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.